we have been talking about absolute paths where we give the full path. Well, that's a lot of typing, right? We, we should be able to do maybe a shortened way of doing these paths, right? And that's what a relative path is. It's all about relative of where you are at, right? So if my current working directory is W Adams, um, that is where I'm currently located at. When I type that PWD command, that's my present or current working directory. PWD, this is my location. Graphically, this is my location. This is my present working directory. It's the folder I'm working in right now, right? So that is our, what's called a current or present working directory. It's the one we're in. Now, if there is a folder right beneath us within this AW Adams, that is called the child directory because it is below us. It is a child. It is a folder within a folder is a child directory. It is the folder inside it. So inside the W Adams folder, we have one, two, three folders or files. We have a desktop folder, a downloads folder, a practice folder, and a whatever file or folder, right? And in this instance, we're looking at the downloads one, which is a child, but there are actually four child folders under W Adams, right? Now, if we're going up the system here, that is called the parent directory. It's the folder that's directly above us. So the W Adams folder is in the home folder. Now the home folder has three child directories, right? W Adams is a child directory to the homes folder, right? But so is user one and so is system admin. Those are child folders to the home directory, right? But to W Adams, the home folder is the parent because it is above. What is the parent of the home directory? Well, it's root. The forward slash is the parent to the home directory, right? All right. So here's just some reinforcements of what current working directory is, what parent is, and what a child is, right? So the current working directory is the directory you're in. Well, I'm in the temp folder right here. Right, this one is downloads. This is a different temp folder. It's in the downloads. Yeah, can you have two folders named the same thing? You can, but they have to be in different locations, right? And so you can tell the system where they are. So when I took this screenshot, this was a different location or path, right? So this is my current working directory. You know, you can sometimes you can I can click if I want to change my directory, I can click on documents and then boom, I'd be in documents, right? Um, so this is my current working directory. If I want to go into a child, these are the child directories. So if I click on work, I'm going into a child directory of where I'm currently at. And that becomes now my new working directory, right? Or my present working directory once I'm in Windows. And the parent directory is the next one up, right? I can click the up arrow to go to my parent directory. So any child is any directory in your current directory it's a subfolder right and a parent directory is always the one right above right so let's look at this here here's my file manager right my current working directory is home Jared temp that's different than this screenshot that must be a different temp folder right it has different files in it this temp folder is inside my downloads folder this temp folder is inside the Jared folder Right? So I don't want that to be any type of confusion to you. So this is my current working directory. I have within my current working directory, I have two child directories. I have the school child directory and I have the work child directory. Well, let's make the school directory my current working directory. I do that by clicking in it. Hey, now I'm in the school. School is now my current working directory and the temp folder is my parent directory. And I have one child directory here, which is the fall folder, right? Well, I want to go back up to the parent directory, to the temp folder. So I click the up arrow and now I'm back in the temp folder. And now temp is my current working directory. Instead of school, school is now a child. If I go into child, oh, this is my current working directory and temp is my parent and fall is my child. I go back up. Oh, 
Um, school is now the, the child. Temp is my current working directory. And Jared is my parent directory. Now, how do we do this in the command line? Oh, very similar, right? Here we can type PWD. That will show us the current directory that we're in, right? What's the current directory? This is our current directory right there, right? Right, that's our current working directory, PWD. All right, if I type ls, I can see my children files and folders, right? I have a school folder, which is a child directory, and I have my work folder, which is my child directory, right? If I wanna look into my school directory, well, we'll get to that later, but PWD offers that. So, relative paths. Let's talk about relative paths. Relative paths are paths that we give a location that we're getting, right? Remember, paths are just the location, but it's relative to where you are located at, right? So, for instance, if I am my current working directory is W Adams, I have four child directories or files right there, and they are only one step down from me, right? And these are my child directory, and those are relatives. So if I want to list the path, my relative path of the downloads folder, I don't have to start at the top and go like o forward slash home forward slash w adams forward slash downloads. I don't have to do that anymore because I'm already in w adams, and it's a child, and it's already right there. Well, yeah, it's right there. It's downloads. I just list it as downloads. That's it. It's very similar as to relative to where somebody lives. Let's say you have a friend, the Johnsons, and they live at 123 Main Street, right? Now, the Johnsons, let's say they just live right next door. If someone comes knocking at your door, are you going to, and they're going to go, hey, do you know where the Johnsons live? I'm a little lost. Are you going to say they live next door? Or are you going to say, no, they live at 123 Main Street, even though you live at one. 22 Main Street, I don't know, right next door, right? Um, no, you're just going to say, I live next door. You're not going to give them the full address, right? Because they're just they're just right there, right? So same thing. If we're in W Adams, it's downloads is just right there. So we can just put downloads. That's relative path. A relative path doesn't use the full absolute path where you start at the top and work all the way down. It's It's relative, right? Let's look at another one here public system admin public so how do we kind of mix these relative paths with commands right well we can use the ls command to look at this public folder right we can use the ls now what if it's two levels up what if we're located at home and we it's not just one it's two child levels down right it's our grandchild directory right well, we just put a forward slash every time we go down a level, and that is a relative path. We don't have to start at the top anymore if it's in our, if it's within our line or within our path here, right? So I can just type ls system admin, which takes us down here, and then you do a forward slash, which says, oh, one more level, forward slash public. This is a relative path. Let's look at another one. Let's look at copying. Right? Let's say we want to copy something. We want to copy child stuff, right? A child file to a child directory, right? So this is what we can do. We can use the CP command. We can just do whatever to downloads because they're just right there, right? We don't have to give the full path, right? How? What if we want to copy whatever, oh, up a level, but it's still a child path, right? because we're up here at home, we want to do whatever. So we're going to move, we give up, we give the relative path, since we're in home, the relative path to whatever is system admin forward slash whatever. So that's our first part of a command. But now we want to move it to W Adams, which is just one level down. So we just put W Adams if it's one level down. If it's one level down, you just put the name of it. That's all you have to do. If it's two levels down, you have to put a slash in there to show one level 
the second level. The slash separates the levels, right? See here, there's our whatever, our system admin, whatever. And, uh, and then we just do W Adams. Pretty cool. So let me show you what that looks like in the command line. Okay, so here we are in the command line and I'm in my temp folder and I look at that and let's say here, look at this file right here. I want to get rid of it because it's a weird file. It's been annoying me. It was created by accident. So I'm going to use the RM command to remove it. Well, I don't have to give the full path of it because it's it's right here. It's right where I'm I'm at. So I can just type username that and I can I can name it there and I can just hit delete or enter and that deletes it. Now when I type ls, it's gone. I used a relative path. Let's say I want to look inside the school folder, right? ls. Well, I don't have to get the full path because it is a child directory of where I'm currently at. So all I will do is school. Hey, that's what's in the school folder. What's in the work folder? Let's take a look. Now that you see me, there's a forward slash there. That is optional at the end. That just means write another level works. So you, you don't have to have the forward slash, but it can be there. That's part of my autocomplete, right? So I have LS work and that's what's in the work folder. Right? Let's say I want to move, move into the work folder. I can just do that. Now my new current working directory is the work folder. Pretty straightforward, right? Now, how do I get back up using relative paths, right? I know I can do CD home Jared temp and that will take me back up. But shouldn't there be a relative path to be able to get back up, right? Let me uh, go back to work. We know how to get down to child directories. Hmm. How do we get back up? Well, let's take a look. To indicate a parent directory relatively, we use a dot dot. So if I'm in W Adams and I want to refer to one folder up, my home folder, my parent folder, I can just do dot dot. So let's use that with the command. Yes, if I want to look one folder up, I can just do ls dot dot and that would tell me and show me what is in my home folder and what, what's it going to show me. You can see from here, right? What is inside, what files and folders are in my home folder? Oh, w Adams, user one, sysadmin. Those are the three folders within home. So at the ls dot dot command, if I'm right here, so this is my current working directory and I do ls dot dot, it's going to show me these three folders, right? Now, what if I want to go up two levels? Well, again, you use a slash to show going up a level, right? So if I'm currently here in this public folder and I want to see what's in the home directory, well, I have to do dot dot to go up one level, forward slash, and then dot dot to go up the second level. So when you're going up, use dots. When you're going down, you just, the name of the file. Now, we'll come back to this. Let's look, let's look at that here. So I am currently in the work folder. How do I get back up? I can just do dot dot, cd dot dot. That takes me up one folder, password, or my present working directory. It changed my present working directory. I went from work, see this gives me the full absolute path, right? And now I'm back to my temp folder, just like that, right? I can do it with anything in any command, right? Let me go back, let me go back to work. And let me list what's here. Oh, let me, I want to move that file one back up. Well, let's do that. Let's use absolute paths to do that. Well, let me show you in the slides first and then we'll get back to it, okay? Now, let's say we want to use relative paths to move, I'm right here in this location, but I want to view something here in the practice folder. Hmm. 
Well, it's not a child. I, ha I w The way I do that is I have to go up one here to user, and then I have to go over to home, and then I have to go down here and down here. So I have to go up and then down. How can I combine the dot dot and just naming the directory together to indicate that I want to go up and down instead of using the absolute path, right? I can just use the absolute path forward slash home forward slash Adam sort of that's that, right? But I want to do this with an relative path. It's just like saying, oh, the Johnsons aren't next door. Oh, they're up one street and two houses over, right? You're still being relative to where you're at, right? So let's look through this. Well, the first thing is you just take this step by step. When we're going up a folder, it's dot dot. So now we're at user. Now, home is at the same level. We are already up at this level here. And we use the two dots to get up to that level. So that's why we have the ls dot dot down there. We're up at this level. So now that we're up at this top level, we want to go down a level. So we do a forward slash and we just name the file where we want to go down to. So w Adams is where we want to go. Now we need to go down another level. So guess what? We need another forward slash. Another forward slash because we're going down another level. And now we want to go down finally to our destination, which is practice, which is there. So this is our command. If we were in, if our current working directory was local and we wanted to use a relative path, not an absolute path, absolute path, we would just start at the forward slash up at the top. We would, we would go up, we would go over, down to W Adams, and then down to practice is how we do it, right? So let me show you a few things here in the command line. All right. So I want to move this files one back up to the temp folder. Now I could do this using an absolute path, right? I can move and use this absolute path here. File one, right? Move this to where do I want to move it to? I want to move it up to my temp folder. And that would be the move coming in um, with absolute paths. How do I know it's an absolute path? Oh, because it starts with a forward slash. It starts with root and then goes all the way down. Starts with root and goes all the way down, right? Well, no, I want to change this to relative paths, right? Well, I'm already in the work folder, so I just want to go up to the temp folder and I do that with dot dot because why? The temp folder is up one level, right? I don't need that work either. So I just want to go up one level and I want to move. Oh, no, this is wrong. I just, all I need to do, because it's a child for us. See, I was wrong. I was confused here, right? I'm moving file one. It's just a child file. So there it is. It's a child file. I can just list it because it's right there. Now, when I want to move up, I just want to go up one. So I'm just going to do this, two dots, that's it. I can put a forward slash there if I want to, but no big deal. Um, I can just do dot dot, right? Because I'm using relative paths. I want to move file one up one level. What am I moving? That's the location of what I'm moving, my relative location of what I'm moving to my relative location of where I want to move it to. I want to move it up. Let's see if this works. Well, I didn't get an error. Let me type ls. File one is no longer there. Well, where is it? Well, let's go up a folder and check. So I'm going to do cd dot dot, which should take me up a folder. It should take me up to temp. And then I can do ls. Hey, there's file one. It moved. This is how paths work with commands. Right? Um, and you can use it with the copy command, the move command, the ls command. Everything is going to be using paths. And we really need to grab, grasp these concepts, right? So let's summarize these a little bit. Anytime we're going up level, we always use dots. So, example, up one level, dot, dot, two levels, dot, dot, 
forward slash dot dot three levels three dot right three sections of dot dot here's an example we're going up a level and then down one level dot dot and then down a level we just give it the name right going up two levels down one level up up down right up two levels down two levels up up down down so that means up up and we're probably going over somewhere and then down down right all sorts of levels. if we're just going down it's really easy you just give it the name if you're going down three levels the name slash folder inside a folder inside a folder one each level you just name them that's it okay so if you're going up two dots down you just give the name use a forward slash to designate each level finally we'll summarize absolute and relative paths absolute paths always 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 begin with a forward slash because we're starting at the top we're starting at the root and then we're working our way down and we're giving the full location path right so we always start with forward slashes relative paths never ever 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 start with a forward slash you don't know how many students i see just start throwing slashes all over the place well there's a slash at the beginning uh, you know no that's one property of a relative path is it never has a forward slash it will only have two dots if you're going up or it will just have the name of the folder or the file that you're trying to access if you're going down right so this is the difference between the absolute paths and the relative paths. I appreciate you joining me. I hope this makes a lot more sense on how absolute and relative paths work, particularly how they work with commands and how we use them on the command line and why we need to know absolute paths when we're working on a terminal. Thank you very much.